Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in my extended spotlight of in the name of the Tsar. Zemir Tsar, yeah. Well, we are going to continue our extended spotlight of Bavaria. So let's see. Well, thanks to one of the mod developers, he provided me with the Open 04 version of the mod and therefore I'm able to continue the mod. So a great thank and a great shout out for him providing me with the Open 04 version of the mod. I forgot his name, but I have him on Steam, but anyways, thank you a lot for providing me with the 0.04 version. Well, I told already I'm gonna replace my bloody chair, so this sound shouldn't annoy you off anymore. If you wanna support me, feel free to get my Patreon, link is down below in the description, it would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, let's get straight into the game, continuing our uh, playthrough as the Bavarian Soviet Republic. Well, we could be called, we should be called German Soviet Republic, but we are still called Bavarian Soviet Republic, sadly. Although we control all of Germany plus Austria. So the Anschluss has been done, but not with the same justification as Hitler did. We did just to unify the German people under the Red Banner. That's our goal. But we don't claim Czechoslovakia, therefore, yeah, we don't have any imperialist claims. We just want to spread communism across the globe. So, next to them. Well, we want to, my plan is, well, I can share my plan only with you, we, I want to go to war against the Russians. Well, the Russian army is strong, quite strong, stronger than ours, therefore we'll have to wait a bit more to militarize and to get our army up and going. I will station 10 divisions on the Italian border because I fear that the, uh, well, guess what, that the it Italians may join to the war, so you never know, therefore let's station these 12 divisions on the Italian border, this should be more than enough. Then, uh, I won't go to war against the Netherlands, that should be obvious until now, let's get, we only have 48 divisions. Let's say, we got the Field Marshal Leon Trotsky, Leon Trotsky has even a plus 10% recovery rate, so we're gonna get him, Zweite Befreiungsarmee, ready yourself, well, against the Russians. I'll have two armies, one entire army which will just uh, march through the country and one specialized army who will take out the Russian capital and Moscow and Petrograd. This army will march through the Caucasus, through yeah, the Ural Rhine, therefore rendering the Russian industry useless for the war efforts. Well, industrial-wise we should be superior to the Russians. All the Russians are annexing G Galicia actually, yeah, they will annex Galicia, therefore Galicia will become their core. So, we'll have to face them as well. This shouldn't be a problem, to say the least. No, it should not. So, because we are, we'll go to war soon, I will heavily military industrialize our country. Heavily. Heavily industrialize our country. With new modern military factories. The French should join our war effort. I think the French should join our war effort, that's for sure. Let's see, the French. Uh, the French Soviet Republic. Yeah, they should join our cause with yeah, they have a really good amount of divisions and a quite strong industry. So, well, I'm really proud to say, oh, what happened? The Spanish launched a counteroffensive against the fascists. I'm gonna help the Spanish non-aggression pact. And uh, can I send volunteers? Yep, I can. That's great. I'm gonna send so many as I can. So let's see, send volunteers, even Russia, well I don't know why Russia sent volunteers to Republic in Spain, instead of sending international Spain, well we can send 5 divisions, I will use this opportunity and send 5, uh, yep, yeah. send 5 of the Genossen Division, under the command of our general Johannes Evans, who sounds completely German, does it, ha ha, Johannes Evans, go ahead, and liberate Spain, liberate Spain from the Russian fascists, the second Russian Empire. Yeah, the Kingdom of Galicia will fall soon, therefore yeah, it will be a problem for us, but we have enough, we have certainly enough, who dares to criticize us? Yeah, we really need more artillery, that's for sure. Our divisions, they can't really play three lines of artillery, I may remove one, one line, because I simply like artillery, produce them, I'm gonna remove one line, yeah, remove one line, no, yeah, it's, it's just fine. Right, we need more motorized though, and finally, we're able to even build more factories. Uh, let's build three, four, five. Uh, industrial research is far away, so 
Yeah, open 27 years away. Although I plan to go for let's go for sport weapons. Always useful to have always. Then we need more tanks, more well we need mainly motorized equipment. I have shock troops, shock troops. I wanna create a army honestly army of shock troops to punch through the enemy lines. So let's get more shock troops inside. Oh we lack the experience early, so never mind. My I can't get army on your shock troops because we lack the army experience. Saying so, well, I think I will actually go ahead and... Well, why should we start that? So, let's go ahead and uh, we can do the equipment effort, special forces, but nowhere where we get actually equipment. I'll go ahead and go for the armor effort. Applying from the other, other end... Or did, did, did it say zero dice? Oh, well, that went quick. Let's go for the equipment effort. For the Bavarian country, and uh, we have more resources slots available. Let's not play on the, that high of a speed since we have many things to do. Here we go developing our industry is one aspect of it. Mecklenburg, great, great, great. Here in Pommern as well, 70%. We need one oil and one rubber. Well, not from the Russian stand since we will go to war against them from the Venezuelans, and then as well from the British Malaysians. British Malay, there we go. Alright, so, uh, 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 things are looking great for us, we'll have the French on our side, well, we may be the only two communist countries. All Spanish volunteers, they did arrive. I'm gonna control them as always by my own. Control them by my own. Yeah. That's all war, we have to win it. We have, yeah, we only have four provinces and they are all in a mountainous region, therefore the Italians should have big problems pushing inside. All we have... Bayerisch is on the troops. We have special troops here. That's nice. We're gonna create the army. Rote Heimat Front. Let's make a new theater. Capturing, naming it. Uh, Östliche, Östliche Befreiungsfront. Which means the Eastern uh, Front of Liberation. Yeah. The East. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah. West. There we go. Eastern Front of Liberation. We have to train them, clearly. We have to, yeah, let's select uh, well, Air Focus. I could either, let's go for yeah, Specialized Engineering. Then, we'll build more of the good old military factories. We can build really, really many. I think I may run even out of slots. Uh, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Third Panzer Division. There we go. Uh, uh, they are deployed. They are training. That's great. Sondertruppe, Sondertruppe, Panzer Division. Where are these three? There, there you see. 37 more fresh troops joined. They will get trained and after assigned to the war theater. We sell you don't have a military staff. That's sad. Need a theorist. Need a theorist. But we are getting well 0.6 political equipment, uh, political power up a day. That's at least well, a good thing, to say the least. Our five divisions. I'm gonna actually kill uh, these two divisions there because they are encircled. So the Italians are gonna die. Sorry, Italy, but things are gonna end bad for you. <laughs> there we go, and there we go. Nice. Now I, I want to encircle the troops here in Valencia. Valencia. And therefore, yeah, rendering the Spanish cause even more worthy. And let's get the yeah, weapons too. The improved infantry equipment weapons too. That's nice. So then we can just march into here. Can we even cut off Valencia from the front lines? Even now? Let's see. March into here. I think we can. That's great. Let's increase the bulk here. Uh, we have one unit here. And Valencia is encircled. Now we are gonna to a massive encirclement of Valencia, which is an important victory point for the uh, Spanish. Before they can encircle their troops, they're gonna get encircled, and there we go. They got crushed. Now they're fighting with the Spanish fleets. Ah. Alright, now I will head towards Madrid, towards Madrid with our 5 Genossen Division, breaking through the enemy line. Well, that went only one day, that went quite quick. Let's go drop bank. Might be useful for one aspect. Now the 9100, let's go ahead, keep the push up. A bit more factories, well, 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 nice, nice, nice. Alright, now we have lots, yeah, we still need motorized equipment, that's the only thing we need. We have tons of artillery and tons of other stuff. 
So saying that more of the Genossen Division are gonna get trained. Let's see. We can train 71. Yeah, we can. Alright. Then we would have an army of 4 million. 4 bloody million. Just just think of the sheer amount of our army. We are massively, massively well increasing our strength. Especially, especially for the conquest of the Russians. Now special forces are gonna be next on the list. And our 5 divisions, yeah, capture Madrid. Although I need to keep some divisions here so we don't uh, have the risk of getting actually encircled. I think keeping these here should be nice. Keeping the line steady and open here. Yeah, uh, 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 there we go. We got Madrid. Let's capture areas around Madrid. The Spanish army isn't really big, therefore making it quite hard to achieve a quick victory. That's the problem. Yeah, they are liberating the areas already. Let's focus our effort here on Valladolid. Yeah, the Spanish troops are pushing in here. We have to uh, redirect our forces. Oh, and Japan claim claim hegemony here. My goal is to encircle this Spanish division right there. And you could join Dayuto Akiwaken. That's probably the Japanese faction. And nations just join that one by one. I'm gonna send this division away to encircle once more the second encircle of the troops. Let's send them here. Since our units here aren't actually threatened, this shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, the second and second of the Spanish troops. No, no, you won't be able to retreat. You won't be able to retreat. You won't be able to go away as well. We have to win the Civil War, therefore capturing us one more potential ally against the fascist cause in the entire world. Well, we are heavily, heavily industrializing, how you can see, heavily, really massively focusing on this solemn factor. We need more rubber, we need, uh, okay, let's get more of one each, one of you, then more of that, and one more of from the British Malaysians. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. We have three factories, although the only thing we really need is, well, motorized. Although we don't have a, such a high storage of that anymore. I'll actually go ahead and get sport equipment as well. Or actually, let's start getting medium tanks. Medium tanks, yeah, medium tanks for our war efforts. There we go. Uh, so, like technology, that's out of time, so that's not gonna get selected. We can get mechanized equipment. Next, but the Republicans launched a great, great major offensive. And Madrid is still defended, therefore giving the communists the edge in terms of factories. Yeah, if you see, the communists are clearly superior in terms of factories. We are attacking the Spanish lands there. We have to capture Sevilla, so the Spanish Civil War is well far away from from being partly completed. It will take some time, but it will be worthy of our cause. Oh, we have 9 light cruisers and 60 destroyers, although our fleet is not still able to uh, stand up against the uh, fascists. And why are they doing a joint French research? Now they are they, well, we aren't the only one heavily industrializing, we can say the same from them. Yeah. Yeah. The Russians, they did actually heavily increase the amount of men across our border. That's filthy, filthy from them. But, yeah, I'm 24 divisions will be specially detached and assigned to push. One army will be pushed to capture Petrograd, and the second one will be pushed to capture our oh, rebellions in the Africa, in America, well, interesting, right, 24, yeah, and 24, yeah, there we go, yeah, for the trains, at least 24, they will push through only a tight line, they will break through, break through the lines, break through and uh, seize Petrograd in a spearheading attack, spearheading attack, they will seize Petrograd, yeah, this path seems reasonable and nice, then, the, uh, let's say, Vierte Befreiungsarmee will get, well, Moscow is in the center. So they will actually attack from this path as well, from this narrow path. They will attack and seize Moscow, yeah. So we have a really heavy, uh, well, deployment of troops in this sector, that's for sure. Really heavy deployment of troops in this sector. They will seize uh, Moscow in a spearing 
push as well. That seems to be nice as well. Rushing through Minsk to Moscow. And our tanks will support this effort. So they will get equipped from our best generals, Andriy Vlasov. And not Leon Trotsky and Johannes Evans. There we go. Uh, you need probably a new command by you. Then I get to Johannes Roberts. Let's capture Murthia. Murthia. Yeah, I think a nationalist. Uh, well, nationalist retreat is imminent, therefore capturing probably our victory as well. Mm -hmm. There we go. I wanna insert the Spanish divisions here. Capture towards Cordoba. You uh, go ahead, meet Link of our in Cordoba as well. You gonna attack well through the river, right through the river. There we go. Republican victory is imminent. Next thing I would say, uh, the Great Purge. Well, we don't have the Spirit German rewards, do we? Kind of don't, so we don't have to go for that. So subsidize radar research, not yet. I will go for evasion effort then. And well, we have three civilian factories. I completely forgot. Yeah, uh, now I have them free. Now I have them free. Always build something. Okay, we got the first step of atomic research. That's nice. Now, secondly, I wanna go for, uh, let's see, atomic research. Yeah, but uh, it's only three days, it will take only two days. After two days, we got the nuclear reactor. What in the name of God, we got the nuclear reactor already. Well, if that is not great, I don't know what to say. So we got the nuclear reactor in the year 1931. We will deploy it against the Russians, but that's, yeah, 1,400 years ahead of time to get actually proper nuclear weapons. So, well, that's a long path. A long path to getting nuclear weapons, so they are fully trained. Same goes for them. We're gonna combine them 86 divisions. They're gonna spearhead the attack, spearhead the attack. Spearing forces will be Red, with and Star. Red, with and Star. Red, with and Star. And my English. And then the normal breakthrough illusion will, will be a light orange with infantry symbol. There we go. They are gonna get led by Field Marshal Leon Trotsky. Leon Trotsky, Trotsky. Suddenly through the line, a massive attack towards cutting off the Russian industry and therefore rendering Russia, well, useless, to say the least. We have 51 new divisions deployed, although they are trained ones, let's train them. We need to get more infantry equipment, that's for sure. And we can see the Spanish clearly losing the war in every aspect possible. After the capture of Sevilla, the civil war should be over and it should result in complete Republican victory. More tungsten, as well as more uh, oil. More oil from, let's get from them. What? Mexico become socialist? What? America become communist? Communist states of America? What? What just happened there? Um, um, all right, America, uh, 86%. Well, we are boosting them, but I didn't thought we can boost them so easily. I think they won the elections, therefore the Americans got communists. Well, that's, that's interesting, that's bloody nice to see. Now, yeah, the other nations have other democracies, but America is a communist nation, so should they join us? They may be too, let's send a pack of non-aggression with the Americans. Well, well... Well, the game is turning out to be just simply amazingly great. Just amazingly great. I would have never, well, dreamt of, dreamed of that to happen, but it's, it's actually happening. America turned communist. How did that happen, please? Well, that's bloody nice, to say the least. Now, let's get more into the equipment, actually. That path. Okay, the Spanish won the Civil War, that's great. You need more tungsten and even more oil. Let's see, we have uh, 7.5 thousand light tanks. Alright, I think 7.5 thousand light tanks, alright. So I'm gonna <laughs> uh, increase its uh, composition of tanks, Reagan Company and... Uh, alright, let's add also one more motorized in infantry and one more complete line of light tanks. Uh, there we go. I will only change them to medium tanks when they are done. Let's see, I have seven divisions of light. These are in the Italian front, that's why it's called the Heimatfront. These Genossendivision, uh, where are my tanks? They are my tanks, they are here. We have eight divisions of tanks in total. I'm gonna send them to the Eastern Front. The Russian army, let's see, well... 
They are heavily militarizing like we are. But our army will achieve a strength of 4 million. 4 million troops! Fall of New South Wales. I oh, want fall of New South Wales. Oh, Japan got it. Well, the fascists. Of course, the fascists will advance. That had to be expected. But we're gonna liberate Austria as well if possible. For the. Oh, we can go for research time or division speed. I'll go for division speed super soldiers. Yeah, because I find that. Are simply more useful than the other one. So heavily, we must resign. Uh, we we'll, uh, we actually uh, we will run out of slots. Yeah, we have no more slots where we can build stuff. Look to this in our country. No more slots where we can actually build stuff. So I will uh, build a nuclear reactor as well uh, soon. I'm gonna build it soon, not now. So uh, not yet to the war. I'm gonna go for fighter focus. Well, let's go for fighter focus. Fine. The little Entente, what happened? Oh, the French Entente Alliance. Uh, I wanted to, uh, I, wa I thought I could um, in in invite the French to my faction as well. Uh, well, that completely messed things up for me. Now the French won't join my war. God damn it. I should have declared war earlier. Why did the French create their own Entente? Well, that's a not a nice thing because I relied on the French help, not on the Entente with a uh, just like, well, the Czechs should leave, leave it since they are democratic. I think, yeah. The Czechs may leave the faction at one point. So we are on our own. On our own. Once more in the world. Uh, plus 4 plus 6,000. Yeah, I wanna heavily stockpile up my equipment. Of sport equipment. We need more of this. I have no more slots to build a factory, so that's the problem. Let's build our first nuclear reactor in Danzig. Yeah. In Danzig. And then, well, what should I build? Land forts? I don't know. I need the research, which we have after 45 days, but for that time, I can perhaps, I really don't know, build land forts across the uh, Italian border, across the border with Italy. So, let's build two in every province. Yeah, two in every province. This should go quite fast, though, and one on the line behind. The line of defense, I'll call it. The Bolivian Izquierda won it, apparently. Come on, France, why did you make the little Antoine alliance? Well, I may dissolve this because that doesn't make any sense. And a democratic nation should be never in an alliance with the uh, Czechoslovakians. That's, that's simply disgusting. And why is this 51? They are soon fully trained. 86, they are fully trained. 24, they are all ready to attack these five Genossen divisions. Divisionen. Train them as well. Yeah, at least in the next episode, the war against the Russians will be inevitable. Although the front is really stacked, we clearly have superior amount of troops across the border with superior preparation as well. Yeah, we are, we still have 22 divisions. Uh, well, are getting produced. We have plus 5.6 thousand artillery equipment. It's 5.6 thousand. Yeah, they will be the last one who will. Are going to get produced. What America declared war in Chile? Can I somehow invite you to my faction? No, I don't want to join. Well, it's really well nice to see that America became well communist. I really wouldn't have expected that. Our next focus will be the war against Russia. The war against Russia, Russia is our next focus. They are trained. After that, I'm gonna wait a bit and then deploy our full forces against the. Russian, in the Russian theater, maybe. 8 Panzer Division, train them fully. We have still plus a 5.8 thousand light tanks, so let's actually increase their amount of light tanks heavily. Heavily, okay, we can't more than that amount, so save 10. There we go, now let's speed up the game. We are just, it's just a waiting game now. We have a good amount of planes, we have really good amount of planes in reserve, so we should get complete air supremacy across the Russian theater. Well, we got 53, 53 fresh divisions. 53? Well, that's nice. Sorry, but I can't wait more. I have to go to war. I'm waiting too long already. So 53. And I'm gonna assign them as well, which will equal 190 divisions. 190 divisions. I'll, de I'll deploy these 18 all already. Uh, 18 divisions in the Rote Heimatfront, though. So, make an army Rote Heimatfront. These are three. Go ahead. 
towards this army as well. So we have 193 divisions only against the Russians. So this should be, well, it's kind of overkill, but it should be more than enough. I'm still enough. And our tell our troops to garrison our naval ports against possible Russian threats and invasions. There we go. Factory-wise, no, finally, I'm gonna heavily build nuclear nuclear uh, reactors in the Rhineland and in the Saarland and the West Rhine as well as in Hannover and over Bayern and Franken and Lower Austria as well as Lower Upper Austria and then in Brandenburg as well. There we go. Now our factory should be really busy. And the Polish affair. So against an ex war girl against the Second Russian Empire. With the war for Polish independence raging on, many of our ministers are suggesting that we take a stance on this conflict. Now it is the time to help our comrades. It is. Although the uh, Polish are not in war, well, it's still nice to have our Polish comrades always. Is it? Maybe I should have deployed some radar on the line across to Russia. Well, it's too late, anyways. Let's research radar. To be honest, I never used the radar, to say the least. Factory-wise, let's see. I I want to increase my stockpile of infantry equipment for the war. That's vital to get more infantry equipment. Therefore, infantry weapons too and more infantry equipments. Yeah. Well, the Polish affair. I may improve the popularity of the communists in Russia as well. So I could stage a coup. And since America became communist already for whatever reason. Let's uh, stop boosting the popularity of the Americans. There we go. Stop boosting that. I think if we start a war, they will join us. The Americans should join us then. And the Czechs, they should leave the faction. Come on, they are in a democratic... They are democratic, but they are in a fascist... They are in a communist faction. Come on, France. I really should have needed your help. But now they won't go to war against Russia, unfortunately. This was the Heimatfront. Uh, so... Uh, why are they there? Yeah. Alright, it should be fully safe now. They, they, oh, stick it up. Oh, they, we can perhaps assign these four up to the Italian line, making the Italian line unpenetrable. Unpenetrable. 11 the divisions, they have no attack to push, only to defense. A Polish affair, gaining war goal. Alright, my Panzers, they can't get fully trained. I'm gonna deploy them in the front line now. So I'm gonna attack them with two, four tanks each. Infrastructure-wise, it's looking. This area is really overcrowded. 240 out of 151. But still, our units aren't suffering that much, are they? No, not really. So the Russian war is imminent against the Second Russian Empire. Uh, since it's actually overcrowded, I may think I may send them. Yeah, the whole sector is kind of overcrowded, to say the least. Doesn't matter where we send them to, but we should advance swiftly, swiftly, since we have a really good amount of preparation here, how you can see. Uh, we are... Well, yeah, the enemy is inferior to 80%. Inferior to 80%. Inferior... Yes, well, as well as inferior. Okay, that's risky, but we will manage it in absolute and ultimate victory. So there we even got better infantry equipment for our units. Let's increase Mountaineer as well as uh, our sport weapons for our infantry. And improve, let's produce uh, the new weapons instead. Yeah. So upgraded weapons. We have in total 224 full equipped, full trained divisions against only 68 Russian ones. So the Russians will struggle. I will not slaughter my troops, therefore I will send them all to attack in a balanced manner. Yeah, in a balanced manner. Lastly, let's improve the infrastructure in the bordering regions to get maximum capabilities in the region. There we go. Improve the infrastructure, especially in Danzig, especially there. It's vital for the war efforts. And then the, we got the war goal against the Russians soon. Quick and soon. I'm gonna deploy some planes in Lower Austria as well. You never know if they may attack us or not. So let's deploy 300 planes in Lower Austria. There we go. And the Polish affair. We have the war goal against Russia. It will expire never, apparently. So that's a good thing. That's a great thing, to be honest. That it will never expire. And next thing, I think, uh, let's see. Well, we could need one of the continuous focus, to be honest. Construction engineering. Army training, 
or a master's impact construction repair would be nice to repair I think as well as resistance suppression uh, let's go for resistance suppression against the Russians so they will grow less we have only plus 18,400 infantry equipment, so I think we'll. It will be not entirely enough for the war, but I don't mind. We don't mind because we will win the war against the Second Russian Empire in absolute victory and crushing victory. So actually, I'm gonna take a cut here of the extended spotlight. In the next episodes, we are gonna see the Russians fall. They had heavily reinforced the line, how you can see, anyways, with. An entire amount of troops. We have 4 million troops, of which so we have 3.5 million troops readying the uh, facing the Russian theater, which got heavily reinforced. Though, so we'll let's see how it works out. So I'm gonna take a cut here. So uh, thank you all for watching me, and see you all in the next episode. So goodbye, and see you next time. Be sure to check out the mod link is down below in the description, and have a nice day to you all. Goodbye.